he peer pressured me into doing that. The microphone isn't even on, so. Guys, check out what I found. Did you find that on a tree? Yup. That's incredible. Yeah. What are you gonna do with it? We should make some cider out of it. Cider from a solid gold apple? Nah, of course not. We should sell it. Sell it? Are you sure? It's pretty unique. Shouldn't we try to like learn more about it? What's to learn? It's a solid gold apple. This drought has been hurting the farm all year. We could use this money to buy some new farming equipment. Uh, guys? That is true. How are we gonna sell it? Guys! I don't know, Leco, eBay, yard sale? <clears throat> I know a guy, he's an auctioneer. He could sell our apple. All right, we'll do it your way. Is this the auction house? What a dump. Her actual dumpster looks better than this dump. Listen, babe, just outbid everyone else and get me that golden apple. I need it for my upcoming music bid with Amigos. Why does it have to be this gold apple? Ronnie, look, you're my business manager, and I appreciate your organizational skills, but leave the creative outlook to me. I would never argue with the vision of little Kresge. It's just that there should be a more economical, creative solution. Ronnie, with me, money is no object. Lil' Krevsky will not be contained with any monetary concerns. Trust me, I'm well aware of that. Keep it 100. Is this really a good use of our inheritance, I mean? Oh, come on, it's a golden apple. How can we not get it? By not buying it? Do or do not, there is no try. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Oh, sorry, that just sounded funnier in my head. Everything sounds funny in your head. I thought this was gonna be a real auction. This is just like a hastily put together audition for like a short film or something. What? I think you're being a tad hard on Blake. I assure you, everyone in that room are the richest people in the region. Really? What about that guy with the guitar? He looked like he was yanked out of the homegrown. That's Joshua Brown. He's a world touring musician and runs a illusionist show on TLC. He's a musician and a magician. That's right. A musician magician. Yes. Okay, when did this become a Muppet Theater? Del, can you for one minute not be sarcastic? I don't know, can I? Guys, let's just do the auction. I promise, you will be satisfied by the results once the cash rolls in. Alright, let's go sell this apple. We are all here today because we have a very particular item found in the local orchard. We plan to start the bidding at $8,000. Do I hear $9,000? $9,000. Seriously? All right, you want to play? $10,000. $11,000. $12,000. $15,000. Joker serious? I yes. Then I am. Twenty thousand dollars. Twenty thousand. Do I hear a higher bid? Thirty thousand. Thirty thousand. Do I hear any higher bids? Amazing. Well, if no one else has any higher bids, then the closing bid is fifty thousand. A hundred thousand. Two hundred thousand dollars. The closing bid is. What the heck, man? What the heck? What is this? What? Oh, oh, Luca. Luca. What? Yo, what the freak happened to my apple? Your apple? You lost the bid. Yo, watch your mouth, man. Now listen here. I am Federal Deep Cover Agent Dragon, and no one is leaving this building. What happened to my apple? Um, my apple. Our apple. Technically, it was Dissu's apple. Doesn't matter. The apple is gone. Yeah, thank God. You almost threw away all of our money on an apple. It's made of solid gold, though. And?
hand? It's gold! <sighs> so not worth it. Enough! I want all of you to line up behind me and empty your pockets! Or what? Alright, man, it's cool. You three, get up there, too. Why did we steal our own apple? Let's just do it, sense. Empty your pockets, you moron! Okay, we're going to play a new game. Each of you is going in the back with me. Playtime is over, ladies. Are you waiting for a confession? We didn't take it. Look, ma'am, my sister and I are here on a whim. We recently got a bunch of our inheritance from our late grandparents, and I need and sister to come here. To buy the apple. We thought it would look cool. You came to an auction to blow thousands of dollars on a golden apple because you thought it would be cool? Yes, it's a golden apple. Yeah, I can't believe we're related either. Alright, you guys can go. And you need to learn how to prioritize your finances. Thank you. Jeez, what a buzzkill. So you have the magic act, right? That's right. And I've heard people claim that you have, what's it called? Uh, Telescope Natrix? Telekinesis? That's right. Yeah, do you? Do I what? Have telekinesis? Yeah. That's silly, isn't it? You don't believe in stuff like that, do you? I mean, uh, yeah, that's silly. Hey, can you give me my drink? Listen, cop, I don't know who you think you are, but if you saw my SoundCloud, you know you shouldn't be messing with me. We got powerful connections. They wouldn't like hearing about this. What is your affinity for this golden produce? Are you trying to ask why we need it? I need it for my new music vid featuring the Migos. I produce for her, so I'm here to get it for the production. Simple as that. The gold represents greed. The apple is a symbol for the earth and nature. Right, little Kresge? He won't get it. It is an entire amalgamation of cult objects that I am rapping about. It specifically fits into the astrology verses. Wait, what? Look, you gotta watch it to understand it. It ain't just something you can describe. Point is, we came here to purchase it at a prop to add value to our production. Does that satisfy you, copper? Unless you have a link to your SoundCloud so I can go unsubscribe from it, you're free to go. <gasps> Man, a vulture has more taste than you. Yo, you up next. What you tell him? He just asked where I'm gonna have I told him I didn't know. And then he had the nerve to tell me that he didn't appreciate my bars. Your what? My bars, my rap, my lyrical poetry set to the beat. Oh, yeah, right. Did it sound like he had a prime suspect? He's without a clue. I think he's just hoping someone will break down and confess. That's absurd. Do we even know if he's legit? I mean, for all we know, he could be a con artist. He seems to know what he's doing. Why? Because he flashed a badge? Maybe he took the apple. Guys, maybe we should call the police. Joshua Muriel Brown! Muriel? Wow, cuz. His parents didn't even give him a chance. Yeah, a musician and a magician. What? A musician and a magician. So, a musician magician? Yeah. Are you like half Kermit the Frog or something? What's that supposed to mean? Nothing, nothing. So, why did you want the apple? I thought I had magic powers. I wanted to use it to summon the Dark Lord Cthulhu. May his chaos reign eternal. What? Nah, I'm just kidding. 
I just wanted to use it for my magic show. I thought it would be a cool prop. Does everyone just want this as a prop for their goofy shows? I, I guess so. Del found out while me and Gwen were tending to the store. Wow, way to throw me on a bus. Do you realize that this apple is the property of the Smithsonian and that I have been tracking it for two months? Wait, what? The Smithsonian? How did it get here? Have you ever been to DC? No, I've never been to DC before. I found on a tree. Did you get all that? Yes, we can confirm that he has never been anywhere near the capital. Who's that? Who are you talking to? Look, sir, we decided to sell the apple to get more farm equipment for the orchard. The strata has been really hard on us. I don't have any part of this. I just called Nicola. The auctioneer? You're next. How'd you like Agent Double O Diarrhea? All we did was tell the truth. Still isn't much fun, though, is it? Well, we didn't either, you trash bag, poopy eating poop. Face. Good one, babe. It really wasn't that good. Yeah, like at all. That insult had no meat to it. You don't have any meat. What? Nice. I can tell, Mr. Dragon, you are trying to determine my guilt. Well, you're my last suspect. And my other leads are looking pretty cold. So, since you have no real background, how did Blake find you? Craigslist, Mr. Dragon, or shall I call you? Simon Sabo. What did you say? I will come clean. I am not who everyone thinks I am. I am a scientist who, for the better part of my life, conducts experiments on eldritch and arcane items found in the nestled parts of the world. This golden apple is another example. I could not approach the Smithsonian without discretion, so I used my teleporting machine to teleport it to my location. But unfortunately, it misfired and sent it off to a nearby orchard. But now with your company, I ask for your superior listening into this conversation. Call the following number. 020-3342-551-8120. Speak the phrase Atlanta. They will tell you who I am, my position, and the discretion necessary for the handling of this item. Confirmed. Well, Dr. Greskin, I must ask, where's the apple now? That's a good question. But unfortunately, I used my teleporting machine and it misfired again. And it is lost somewhere in this building. You want me to what? Use your magic to make it appear. How do you know I can do that? Theoretically, you can make it appear with your telekinesis, because it's in this vicinity. <laughs> That's crazy. That's not even how it works. All right, fine. I'll give it a shot. Yo! Give the man some space! Crap, maybe if this guy actually pulls this off, we could bring him along with us. That is an amazing idea. Joshua, you in? Not now! Can't you see he's concentrating? Yeah, you've got to get that apple concentrate. Really, I need? Come on, that was funny. People, please, let the man work. <gasps> that is amazing! What do you know? Ayo, Ka, you gotta come with us on tour. Cool. Do I get to keep the apple? Sadly not. Me and my new colleague have to take it for safekeeping, but thanks for your assistance in this matter. So we didn't get anything out of this? Yeah, we found the apple. Don't we deserve some compensation? Guys, I think we should just appreciate the good deed we did. Whatever. Let's just go home. I've been in this auction house all day, man. be in contact with you, Mr. Uh, Brown. <laughs> Joshua Brown. Ayo, I be looking forward to our future collabs. Hey, um, I'm sorry about today. I guess I just Wanted to buy me crazy to distract us from my grandparents. It's okay. I'm feeling it too. Why don't we spend some of that inheritance on some feel-good Ben and Jerry's? 
<laughs> that sounds like a great flavor. Maybe we can use some of our inheritance on a patent for that flavor. <laughs> Let's. I thank you again for helping us retrieve the apple. This isn't much, but take this as a token of our gratitude. What is it? It's a federal grant. We usually don't give them out in this situation, but seeing as you helped us with the case, we thought it would be a just reward. Wow, thank you so much. I guess we got some at least. Come Simon, let's take this back to HQ. Wait, your name is Simon? Yes, and if you tell anyone, you're going on a one-way trip to Gitmo. Understood? Can't believe we got our golden apple confiscated. I mean, how are we supposed to know that it was a stolen artifact? I mean, if nothing else, it's a cool story to tell everyone. Yeah, there's nothing cooler than a magician musician. Yeah, who would believe a story about a golden apple caper? Here we go again. Fifteen hundred. Was I serious? Is the Joker serious? I yes. Then that's what I'm. One more time. All right, hold on. Yeah, wait. Fifteen hundred is less than one thousand five hundred. Like a bullet to the brain. Wow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, what about? Don't so we need a slate? Last slate. Oops. Scene two. Take three. Playtime is over, ladies. Action! Don't Bro, he all. ate a leaf. Yeah, I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you say four. <laughs> put a leaf in no, his mouth. Okay. Okay, guys, check out what I found. No, I didn't say action. <laughs> I could just run my fingers down my arm and like collect all the scabs and eat them. Oh my god! Don't move. All right, you guys did not move at all over there, okay? Dragon, don't move at all. Guys, let's just do the auction. I promise you. One more time, but more. A <gasps> <laughs> uh, hundred thousand. Like you. A hundred thousand. Two hundred thousand dollars. Whoa, man. One more time. One more time. Woo! Two. Hundred thousand dollars. Whoa, man. Yo! Watch your mouth, man! I can't. No, that, that was, was good. good! That, that was, was good! And then you lost the bit! Don't sing it. You're the One, two, three. <laughs> you can't smile. I'm, I'm trying. <laughs> I really. Okay. Fine. Yeah. Yeah. I forgot that part. I just couldn't remember. Line. Um, we got powerful con. We got pow. We got powerful connections, and they. Oh my god. We got powerful connections. <laughs> he wouldn't get it. It is an entire amalgamation of cult items that I am ranting about. Can I not say that? Word? No, you have to say it. You have it'll to be say awesome. It. it makes it so. Come on, funny. it'll be fun. It is an entire amalgamation of cult methods. <laughs> it specifically fits into the astrology verses. Uh oh. Yes, meow. Ronnie. My bars. My stuff. Poop. It's okay, go ahead. Say the line again. Yoka. His parents didn't even give him a chance. Wu Tang! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yes. And if you tell anyone you're going on a one. Be intimidated, be scared. He's a federal agent! Ready? But he's smaller than me! You're still Action! Oh my Ladies. god! Ladies! What is it? Ready? One, two, three. What is it? One, two, three. What is it? <laughs> Yo, Crab, maybe we should bring this guy with us if he actually pulls this off. Yeah, he's gotta get that apple concentrate. Wait, sorry. I just got. Okay, hi Josh. <laughs> anyway, back, back to one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do that again. I love that. I love the. Thank you for helping us retrieve the apple. Here's a token of our graduate.
It's a federal grant. We usually don't give them out in this situation, but seeing as you helped us with the case, we thought it would be a just reward. Yeah.